the grape again you can add more points and just play with this just see where the light hits i probably would add more meshes right here too on top or somewhere around here to kind of break that the space more and add more realism because don't trust your eye our eye may think the next color is the same and may not be okay and that's how you make it look more realistic but now let us go ahead and to when you make sure you save it unlock your layer uh the shape layer called shape and make it visible and what we're gonna do is uh click on the shape layer and you can actually go to that view i'm going to toggle visibility back on for this one and what you're going to do next is create a new layer right on top of it so create a new layer name it cup <laughs> descriptive name that's what it is now notice we are still working in an outline mode so what you want to do is we want to make sure the visibility for the new layer cup is not uh, the same as it is for the shape behind it right so you want to command key and click on i for the cup for the new layer so you're only seeing the outline when you will be drawing on it all right so go ahead and i will lock my other layers and my shape layer as well and i'm on a cup layer so here you will analyze the shape different ways and we actually do we will do the highlight now so you kind of get idea how to do it and the rest and kind of break the shape so we are going to draw using the pen tool we'll first select deselect everything okay so if you're not sure if you didn't just click on the side then click your eyedropper select the midpoint right here not the darkest just the middle all right then go ahead and choose your pen tool and you will draw the cap it's up to you how you want to you don't even if you want to draw with the highlight you can do a highlight this is actually not this is probably the easiest thing to do than blending it but you can go ahead and draw around it now my my layer is kind of cyan you can probably see it so what i'm going to do is i will double click on my layer and make it visible for you to red maybe that, maybe you can see that maybe not let's see maybe red doesn't work yellow is that better just tell me yeah. okay good thank you one person glad that you think it's better so go ahead and draw that out the shape out now actually here i just have to redo it my yellow it doesn't look so great when i'm in uh, outside because i cannot see the edges so i'm selecting it and my look at my great job with my coffee mug so I can see the edges of the yellow. Let me double click on it again and choose something else. Now I can see it and I can grab it. Oh, we need a point there. Here is good. Let me fix this side. Uh, and I will put a point in the middle here to fix it. Now, if you one thing, one rule I, I give you when it comes to gradient mesh. Kind of make sure your points are you don't over point you don't have too many points okay because it's got the line to try to find it's going to try to find points across so if you're putting point right in the middle on top of the cup put it in the bottom too everybody good on the cup <coughs> so just draw this part out all right so next we are going to work on our gradient mesh and this time we actually will start a different way we're actually going to use our mesh tool so click your mesh tool and I want you to all to do this because I want you to make sure you can select the highlight. Now notice you can already tell where the mesh will go. You need to click on the line when you do it and it's going to be kind of abrupt stop. So I will zoom in so I can see it. I'm going to go right here. Oh, it doesn't go too well. So I'm going to click right outside and we'll be moving this. So once you do it and you see it's not, it's crossing my highlight. What you want to do is click on that point, kind of move it. See what I did? Handle. Then another one going to go right here. And again, if it's too far away, look what I did. I just moved the handle to conform the shape. All right? Now in order for this not to blend, and again, those watching at home, I just changed my mode preview of the layer. It wasn't visible. What I'm going to do is right next to it, 
I will put another well, another line very close okay because I want to make sure that transition is kind of abrupt it's not very smooth so if you want to stop it quicker you want to put it close to each other and now I will select it now notice the bottom part I will be stopping it later too but I want you to do this much part on the highlight because if you don't at home it's gonna take some time let me select the highlight highlight and then here I'm going outside with my shape a little bit darker on the sides and I'm clicking notice I'm not clicking on a lid white I'm clicking on that blue because my lid is there'll be a separate um, mesh going around okay so I clicked here and I'm going on the bottom now and I'm selecting the shades now notice if I go in the bottom I don't really have much uh, color so I only have the blue on here what do I have to do in order for that white not to continue to the bottom is there anything I can do so quiet I guess you're getting this because <laughs> look what happens now it doesn't really it's not really smooth it goes nice it's not continuing so I need to make sure I stop it here so let me go ahead and untoggle it yeah you cut up on the grapes now notice I need to put a mesh here because it's gonna stop it here right so I need to put that mesh right now it didn't come out as well as I wanted it to let's see a bit higher that's good and there might be another mesh going around outside of that too because we have several colors blending right so I may want to I want to be safe and probably put several meshes this is just me being safe in case I wanted to blend better so I'm just putting several meshes And let's see and we're going outside now so whatever we're choosing has to go outside that's why you have to take it one at a time it's not the easiest tool to use <laughs> right. so let's see so let's see how it looks like mm -hmm. so notice here it's doing good just here it continues from the previous color right but it's stopping here so that means here we just have to select those points let's go around. actually we're going out so let me just select them there's no easy way I wish there was the easy way is um, start with less point and add to it that's the biggest thing I can tell you that will help you so let's see how our transition is looking okay it's not bad look so we have I have my highlight it looks pretty good so this is the point I want you to be do it okay we have our highlight now the rest has to be colored too but the highlight looks good so i will be just selecting that an eyedropper here that's good now there's actually several shapes happening here several colors but you know what i tell you this uh one rule i have like for me that helps i go even one direction first and then i add other lines it's easier than having a lot of lines and then manipulating color so what you want to do is always add, like let's say right now I'm working more uh, vertical direction and I'm actually noticing here there's a transition of shade here there's transition here and there's transition here and there's transition here there's a lot there'll be a lot of vertical lines here uh, because I'm seeing okay here notice here is change and then here is change right it's more sharp change here so I can always go ahead and add points okay I can try here somewhere here I can kind of see you see so you want to kind of play around those edges notice how many points I'm putting 
So I would just start with vertical and then add horizontal. If you do both at a time, later, you're going to have to move them. And then I'm adding color here. Now this is kind of going, notice where my uh, blend is happening. I actually have to manipulate this because it's going this way. It's kind of protruding here. And then I'm going to add another one right here. And that is not right. The point here, I don't like it. So I'm just going to undo and try it again. Good thing about undos. There is another highlight happening right here too. And there's more sharper line. But this is more horizontal, right? So I'm just going to go with one for now. So I'm just going this way. Uh, now I'll probably add another line right here because I'm seeing there's a change happening here. And I'm good for now. So I would suggest if you're working with something more uh, detailed, try to go one direction. I mean, that works for me. Different people have different way. Uh, because you're selecting the colors one way, it's easier than adding a bunch of, a bunch of uh, lines and then trying to change them all. Right? So then I would just go ahead. Now I would select one at a time and then select the eyedropper and color that in. So you won't see this recorded because it's going to take too long. So I will pause at this time until I select all the points. And notice how I'm going from the outside going in from all the points. So if I'm, whatever I'm selecting out, I'm going towards the middle now. So I'm not selecting back, I'm selecting towards this way. All right? And that's important to recognize. So I'll be pausing and then recording and then pausing somewhere. Now, if I'm noticing that line here and it really bothers me, I will put the points because it does bother me. There, look how perfectly it went there. Yes, thank you, line. So now it will not bother me as much when I'm selecting colors. Now, the other thing you see here is like a white rim. That bothers me too. So there, look at that, looks better. So I have several lines going on top. Again, we can add to those lines, but I'm just going to start selecting the points and coloring them. Let's, uh, so I color this side as well. Let me see how it's looking. Now, if I need to do more. So let me toggle the visibility. So obviously I haven't touched the middle. And you can see that I didn't touch it because I didn't, there's nothing, no change. But you can see how it's coming up here, right? So if it's not transitioning right, and you can see the top as well. Uh, so here, let's see the difference between here. So obviously I didn't model that part yet. I'm only working on a line going from darker to lighter. And this is, I'm kind of going to do this part of, at, at, the, at the end. It's kind of separate. Um, but here, let's see. See, here it needs to continue more, the lightness. So you can kind of see. And then here that hasn't been touched. So let me go into here and fix that. So after I did those points, let's see. Okay, that's looking good, right? Here, notice the difference. It's not too bad. Just this part needs to be worked on, but this one is looking pretty good. So now I'm gonna concentrate on putting color here. So I'm gonna pause because again, I don't want, the other recording was long, so. Uh, all right, was selected. Okay, it's not looking too bad. Notice how it's actually looking pretty good here. Now the highlight pickings are okay. Our lid is looking good too. So we didn't do so bad. And now here, obviously I'm not continuing that highlight, that sharp highlight that you see. Let me toggle the visibility. You see that? That has to be drawn separate too, all right? But I actually, that's what I say. Uh, you wanna start small. And you notice here the highlight is missing still. So we need to add that highlight in there as well. And uh, the bottom part, if you analyze, it's a little bit transition of color here as well. So again, that's something to manipulate. But I think overall, what do you think? It's looking pretty good? Mm -hmm. Mine is looking good. I like it. <laughs> so we can continue on with this one and kind of see uh, blend modes and see what else we can actually fix here. Because it seems here like the colors have to be selected better, to blend it better. So I'm going to continue on my journey of selecting different points. Now we'll zoom in and get an idea. And I'm going to work on these points and select it and continue on. Now one thing is here you'll make, make sure you are selecting the lighter going out otherwise it's not going to look good. So let me reselect it since Sometimes when you create a new line, the color may look different. So sometimes I always go back over, over my lines to kind of double check. 
what I selected was correct. I don't want to make sh I don't want to make sh make a mess here. Those colors. All right. Um, and I've noticed here the highlight, the shadow is a little bit different here. So this is the catch. If you want to change a highlight or shadow that's going, if you touch the bottom, you may actually change the shape. So if I actually touch the bottom part, no, notice what I'm doing. Ah, it's not doing anything. Good. Sometimes you may select actually the shape. So be careful when you're moving those uh, on here. So we're going to make sure you don't move the shape. And the reason why I'm moving it because my, my shadow is not straight. It actually goes this way. It goes out this way. So I'm actually changing it. So that's what I'm doing. Now notice if I have more lines, the more work it takes to do it. So uh, you need to be mindful of that. And I will add, add another one going here. I think like there is one that needs to be put there. Uh, coming here and I will actually move this one around too because it is not a straight line All right so something like this now the trick here a uh, well, good thing about this it will kind of confirm to the colors you have selected but if they're a little bit different you need to be selecting them as well and going with those so again yeah, no easy way I wish I wish I gave you a easy way out but there is it. You just have to do it. Right. So let's see how it's looking. Cap. Oh that is looking good. What do you think? Good. Transition here is good. Just needs that highlight here and then the other one. Alright, so let me stop this. Now here we have a highlight. And that highlight kind of goes like this. So what I'm gonna do with the highlight I'm just gonna put a different line to kind of stop it in different places. Um, so let me put it, if it lets me, okay, did I lock it? No, okay, come back. Let me see. So I will be putting one here and there is actually another one here as well. Now make sure when you do like a little thing, a highlight, do it as a last thing when you did everything else. Otherwise you have to select all the points and color them. And for me, I kind of did everything else. The lid is like here, part of the lid. We're not gonna do the whole thing. You don't need to do the inside, okay? You do have to do the outside of the cap and the handle. So here, I'm actually doing another line here to stop it. And probably there'll be lines going outside as well. So I'm just gonna put them out here. Now, if this line is too close, I can always delete it. If I feel like maybe it's too close and the transition will be too um, sharp, you can delete the line but I will I don't know until I try it so with that I will be selecting colors around this if you need a middle point here I probably do and I will be using my mesh to click on here to put the point now what do I need here to make the point I need probably the mesh there too A little meshy here, or maybe too much. Many meshes. Okay, so let me click on here. Now my mesh is kind of straight and my highlight is not. So I need to again work with my selections and kind of make sure I select the right shades and the shape as well make sure you confirm the shape the shape is going out and now it needs to be stopped here so I'm going to put another shape here and probably here now I might be going overboard with my with my dots my my meshes but I want to make sure I have them covered. Otherwise, it may not do what I want. So let, let's see. See, it's looking good. It's just outside here. I need to blend it more. You can see the highlight. Here is going a little bit too much, right? But here is looking pretty good. Just here and here. All right. So that's the easy thing to fix. Because you can kind of see how it's being blended. So you can actually click on those points and blend them going out. So 
that's the import, important thing. You're going outside from that middle point there on the high line. So always keep a track where you're going out or in. It's going to make a difference and it's going to help you. See all this here, all the colors are different. If I'm clicking on all of them and they're all different, I'm trying to decide if I need them for points here or not. So you can decide for yourself. I'm kind of changing a little bit. Let's see. Yep, it's looking better here and then point here. So let's see if our highlight is looking any better now. So yes, it is. So there, just the only thing here, I need to smooth it out. But here looks pretty good. So here, because I transitioned it a little abruptly, that needs to be changed. Why this point? This point, I'm going to do this side. Let's see how it looks now. Yeah, that's my highlight. That looks good. Okay, so once I do this, and again, I'm not going to finish the whole shape. I think it's looking pretty good as, as long as I need to do some more dramatic thing here. I want to actually pause at this time, and I want to show you how you do the handle, because it will be different, okay? Uh, so you need to finish up some things in the shape. Now, if your blends are not correct in the middle here, you need to fix it. For me, it looks pretty good. Um, I may actually touch up the highlight, though. Once you, you need to step away from it. Once you go back and you see, it may bother you some transition of color. So it helps to step away. Uh, so my cup is done here, except it's missing that, those dramatic highlights. But let us look at our handle. Now, there is two ways of doing the handle, and one way is draw it around it. Sometimes when I did that, it works, and sometimes my mesh comes out really like this and outside my handle. So actually my mesh goes outside of it. So you don't want that. You actually want to confine the mesh within the handle, right? So what you're going to do is call the, the box technique, which um, you will confine the shape or the box to the shape first. So and it's going to just create, make it easier when, it, uh, when you create your points all right so you actually start with a box that you draw around now notice my box right now i kind of want to move it and make sure in the right place um, now i'm just showing it so i will toggle my visibility back off so i can kind of see where it goes and what i'm going to do now kind of confine it to the shape that i have I, and i will not do anything else yet what i'm going to do is add my points so I'm going to add a mesh object and go ahead and go under gradient mesh now notice here you can do the preview if I do two rows or one row notice the difference how many rows do I want what do you think two or one or one this way I actually think I'm gonna do one row maybe or maybe the opposite so I would just suggest with, starting with one only one line whichever one you decide okay we can do columns let's we'll see which one's easier okay i'm going to do two rows one column meaning i just have two right because you want to manipulate this part of the shape uh, now if you cannot see this very well because i do have that yellow one i can change that view in a minute so i'm just do doing okay and i will change so i want you to see this once you changing selecting the points right these this is what matters right how this conforms now you notice the shape is kind of doing funky thing you can try with doing the column instead if your shape is doing kind of funny thing now with this like that okay don't do more because when you do more your thing will just come up messed up all right uh let me change the visibility to more of uh, magenta shade okay you can see that so what I would do, let me change, let me change my, I'll change my mind. I'm going to do columns instead. 
because I couldn't remember which one was the one I want to use. So, <coughs> columns might be better, I think. Actually, I'm going to do two by two and then I'm going to decide. So, let's do two by two. <laughs> You will be like, which one is best? Well, there isn't one. I just have to play with it. So, I just did two by two. And I thought I did change those visibility back to magenta. And did it, so. Now, this would be easiest to just move it. See? Keep in mind that if you move it up like this, it's going to come out kind of squiggly. So, you want to make sure you, when you move it, it's a kind of straight line. Keep it straight. Hold the shift key. Okay? And then you have this shape here happening. So you want to bring that down. You see what I'm doing? I'm kind of confining the shape now. A bit rounder, and I'm moving the edges of it. <coughs> this is not actually the shape, this is the gradient. So the gradient can be inside of it. You will confine the shape, but this is the, the points I care about. Now this across, I just leave them alone for now. They, help, they are helpful. Now I can start moving my my shape. Notice how I have to drag the handles out, otherwise it looks kind of weird. Now your shape will not be perfect because you don't have enough points, right? So don't worry about it being perfect first because you really want to care. You care how your mesh looks like. That's the that's the point of this is to care how your mesh looks like. Later you can actually fix it, right? So. Just get about your mesh first, then the shape, you can always slowly start adjusting. Slowly, I said, not fast. Slowly confining it to the shape. You see what I'm doing? Now, don't try to do too much. Uh, now, you, at this point, I'll probably straighten this up here. If it's not looking right, probably we have to add more points there. So just try to get as close as you can in the beginning. Uh, because later it's gonna get more difficult. Okay. What do you do at the center? Uh, here? Yeah. I'm right here for now. I'm gonna leave it for now. Because oh. I wanna make sure it actually helps me adjust it in a minute I will delete it. <laughs> right. So leave it alone for now. Because you need to have other shape. Right. So here I am. This one was looking good. The top is not looking too bad. The only thing is here, right? We need to change that part, the handle here, and then adjust this as well. So I will be adjusting that. By one trick, you know, if you do the perfect side of this one, this one, you can bring it behind the other shape. So you don't really care how it looks like here because you can put that handle behind your other shape when you're done. So as long as your cup is perfectly done, the edges and all, this doesn't matter here because you will put it behind it. It won't be visible. It matters where it shows. So you need to make sure they overlap. Okay? Um, so that's what how it's... Now, you can start with drawing it out first too. Now, it, I did both techniques. Both work, but it depends how I start. Sometimes the other one will create kind of funny lines for me. Now, this one, one way is to move them. All right. Now, if I'm moving them, though, it's creating another points here, so you want to be careful. Another thing to do is to, just undid it for those watching later, uh, is to delete that line completely out. All right. So if you delete it, notice what's going to happen, though. Nothing. <laughs> you can actually delete that line safely, and you will work more this direction anyway here. Right. So that is one technique. Again, I won't have time to show you the rest of this, but you need to just go work with that. Now, what can you do with this shape? You can add anchor points too, right? To it. It is a shape that you can add points to and actually manipulate those as well. So you are not stuck only. So notice I added another point at the end here, anchor point. And I kind of fixing my edges now. Now you need to zoom in. You cannot do anything while zooming in. So fix one side, then you can check if the other side is misbehaving. You can fix that as well. Now I probably need another point here, looking at that one. So 
there it is that's so my shape is pretty good i'm just gonna fix that one here a tiny bit right so notice how i confine my shape now now this is not the perfect i guess yet the the mesh but let us see what i can do if i add some more meshes i want you to see this it's going to actually come out from the outside but notice how nice it's actually going this way and i can move that point out uh, so you actually can have more control with that mesh when you're creating it obviously you won't put any here or here right it's gonna go one way in direction <coughs> oh, excuse me for those recording sorry i just sneezed <laughs> it happens so i have my points happening this way so just keep keep in mind again you can do this technique and then manipulate the points i would probably do too many at one time so you can confine them to kind of the shape and the, the way the shape looks and then you can continue building on it and kind of doing more points because look what happens if i grab it all now it's looking okay here but this is really congested so once I move something, this lines here will look combined. So you really want to be careful how, how the mesh is looking on this side here, right? So go ahead and add more. I'm just going to resume. Yeah, I just have to click on it. Now, if you add in more points, look what happens here. Now, this may not matter if you want to put another shape on here. But if not, you may want to draw it out. I actually have a way that I would probably do a wide shape. It would be easier to cover it but you don't have to um, you just have to make sure it's all white right this is all white it's gone from dark yes so this is one way another way somebody asked if you can use the pen tool to trace around it yes you can uh, now if I do the pen tool I'm just gonna erase the shape out and I'm just gonna use the pen tool it does matter how you draw draw out the little handles okay this is another technique and it really d depends when you're working on your project it will depend how complex your shapes are okay so we have one here going side now we're gonna make one straight line here and actually let me see a click here I can close that shape up look at that I have only a few points here with the shape now, if you want to go around like this or you want to go around it both ways how you want to go so somebody draw it like this or another way again one more is to go around it completely all right so we're going to start here i guess i had a point here curve it this is for the ones who are not as advanced uh oh it's not the way i want to go just make sure you don't drag in another line. Come back. Point. Oops. It's kind of doing something weird right now. Let's see. There. Okay. You don't to drag it out. Oh. This. There. It is. And I will add another point right. Well, come on, don't do this. I think because I un didn't undo it all the way, it's doing this. So let me con see if I can actually click on it. So you can go inside of it too. Like this. Is that what you wanted to do with the shape? Kind of go inside. Right. So you can do that shape. And let me fix some edges. Because I don't think I did it all the way, all the way when, I, when I told you to redraw it so I just have to fix it a little bit okay so you can actually draw the shape out so that's another way but what do you think is gonna happen with the meshes you can start with your own meshes but look at this look what happens to my mesh you see that the mesh has gone outside now you have to go fix that up so if that's gonna happen start with the box and this is not the best thing you want to avoid that so you want to start with the rectangle shape or with this but for me look at that that's a mess right so that's why i was telling you the other method using the box probably be better for this 
because that way it's not going to come out right. Just saying. All right, and then you also have extra credit. Last one. Let's look at the last banana layer. So this is definitely messed up. I'm, I'll look at the last one. The extra credit is the banana. You can get up to five points on this assignment. The banana, you can draw it out, but I, you, I did it the different ways, and I've noticed for me the box was easier to do. Uh, but I'll give you some tips on it because we have five minutes. When you draw the box, because, oh, now my box is not showing because I have it in the wrong layer. Make sure in the right, create a new layer for it. That always helps. When you draw it out, okay, I will just go ahead. You can just, if it's right straight points, you can just add yourself. The straight points are easy to do, right somewhere where you need them to be. Let's see, that one doesn't want to even do one for me. Come back. And let me lock you. So I don't select you again. Now, I don't even have, I just started with white as my basic uh, color because I haven't selected one yet. So you may want to uh, select the basic. But let me, so you want to start out with this shape and then add a point somewhere here in the middle. Can be more in the bottom too, uh, but you want to constrict that, those shape into the way the banana is looking. So you kind of want to start with something like this. One thing, do not try to make a perfect shape right away because if you do, the mesh will not look right. So you want to actually, you want to kind of think with a mesh first and then with a shape. That makes sense? Kind of think backwards um, because it's going to be easier for you. Now at this point here, I already have some kind of looking like correctly for me because the edges have to be adjusted. And anytime you click on the outside, you will get the handles out, but they're gonna be kind of weird. So you need to move them, right? And you can add another mesh, and I can do one in the bottom here, right? And I can already confine that mesh to my shape. But notice what happens every time I do it, kind of weird shape happens, right? So you wanna make sure you play with, uh, with the way the shape is looking. Sometimes, <coughs> I'm gonna undo this, Sometimes when my shape, I know this is the shape I'll be using and I will conform my meshes to it, I would move on the edge already and kind of move that shape into my banana, kind of conform it. It will not be perfect because we have different edges here. You have to be moved. But you want to start kind of like this where you're changing the shape up. So the thing is here is the time is going to take. So have patience with it, okay? Because it's not the most... Um, fast technique. It's not the fastest technique to use, but it will give you a good result if you spend time on it. So that's what I encourage you to do. And now I can do the second side. Again, notice I have to drag the handles out and then move them again. So kind of little by little. There isn't a shortcut for this. All right. And now you're like, oh, it's that's an awesome banana. It's not. Uh, again, you need to work with different points. You play with them. And you make the points more precise and you move it. Just make sure you pay attention how your highlights and your shape are moving because it's this <coughs> direction. You want to start with a right kind of gradient mesh. Um, now when I'm done here, and obviously I'm not perfect here, that's okay because I'm going to add another gradient here. Notice that the mesh is going right the way I want it to. And I can actually manipulate my points more. And then you may actually add some vertical lines just to help the shape out. Okay, and you can also add points with that regular pen tool to add to your shape. Right? Let me see if it didn't add to it, so I need to make sure I click on it. See if I can add to it. Nope. Okay. I guess in that case, if the pen tool doesn't work, you can put the gradient um, points, mesh points, okay? But I wouldn't do it until the end. Don't do it until the end, when you almost finish with all the other meshes. Because now it's conforming the way I want it to. And notice here I'm doing another one. It's kind of doing what I want. You see? 
And if I just finish my shape now, it will not do it right. So you want to make sure you have those points. So this is the extra credit work, and I hope you have fun with it. And we are done. Thank you.